Welcome back to 12 days of plantness. Today I have something special for you. It's about furnishing. Not my regular type of content, I see, but since this chest is home to some of my plants, it's definitely plant related, isn't it? Please like and subscribe if you like what you see. I've documented the process of restoring this old chest that I inherited from my grandmother. I love functional furniture, but I have never been a huge fan of this kind of rather old-fashioned Bavarian painting and I didn't really like the color combinations. I used to store my sewing machine and clothing that needs to be fixed once I get around doing it, finally. To be honest, I don't think it will ever happen though. I had used one shelf to fill up the upper surface. Here's what's beneath this shelf. I just don't like the colors, I'm sorry if you do, but I couldn't keep this chest like this. Here's me trying to show you what you need to fix a chest like this, but it was far more that I wasn't able to foresee, so this is not a how-to, but a how I restored my first wooden chest video. As I mentioned before, it's an old chest, so there were some dents that I wanted to be fixed beforehand. And I didn't really like the look of these Greek or whatever columns, so I decided to fill the gaps with wood paste too, to get rid of them. And the upper parts of the columns needed to go too, which wasn't all too easy. I used a knife, a hammer, found some hidden nails, pulled them out and sawed off the raised parts. The handle needed to go too, and then the worst part began. Sanding down the thick layers of paint so that the new paint would stick. It took so many hours of grinding on the balcony, it was really bad. I must admit I really should have used extra coarse sandpaper, but when I finally got the point many hours had passed already. Here we are back inside, most of the paint is gone now. And here's the new shelf when it finally fit. Extra coarse sandpaper could have done the trick here as well. Before painting the chest I had to put on a layer of primer. Choosing the color was really challenging to me. There were so many beautiful colors to choose from and I tried to imagine beforehand what color and pattern would look best. And here's the first layer of paint. It didn't really turn out as it was supposed to. It should be exactly the color in the middle of the sample, but it looked more like a swimming pool kind of green. So much work and I just didn't like it. I wanted it to look like my little cat layer shelf that you see on the left hand side here. I decided I needed to change the color, mixed in some black, painted again, but it turned out too grey. The next one had to be it, because the project had consumed so much time that I was unwilling to invest more time. I was still not 100% happy with the coloring. It was a bit too girly, it still is for my taste, but I like it enough to keep it. So I removed the masking tape, inserted the shelf inside and on top. And since the hinges were scratched and stained at this point, I decided to add a touch of color. And I have to say that this part was quite therapeutical. I was so relieved to have come that far. And here's another close-up of my favorite part of the whole chest, my bumblebee handle. Isn't it cute? I really like it. And here's some before and after footage. Which one is more to your liking? Today the chest is subject to constant change. I added a little shoe rack to add more height. Now I can use it for filming and I just enjoy the look of the chest way more than before. Tell me, what color would you have chosen? And have you ever restored any old furniture? Tell me in the comments. Take care, bye bye.